Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing some meditation, quiet time, breathing exercises, and then we'll finish with some nice chair stretching. So make sure that you have uh, a nice sturdy chair here. Uh, it doesn't have to be a folding chair. You can use any chair that doesn't have wheels or arms are okay uh, for this one if you wanna do that. Um, but just make sure that it's not gonna move on you. Uh, make sure that your area around you is cleared out of any clutter or anything that might cause you to trip on it or be in your way. Make sure that you do have some water nearby so that you can hydrate regularly. And then of course, if you need to be wearing shoes, sturdy shoes, athletic shoes, go ahead and do that. So let's get you started. So yes, please do make sure that you stay hydrated through the entire thing. We're gonna begin just relaxing in the chair first. So a little sip of water here. We've got some nice piano music for you today. All right, so you can take advantage of the back of your chair. If you wish to relax back, you can do that. If you want to be a little bit more forward onto the elbows, you can do that. Whatever feels more comfortable, just make sure that you're not curling up and slouching. So we wanna be relaxed, but we still wanna keep just that natural curvature of the spine. So go ahead and find that comfortable position. Feet are down flat on the floor. Now, when I do a meditation that uh, is on my meditation cushion, I do the crisscross leg position. So if you feel comfortable, doing part of it down on a meditation cushion or even just down on the floor and you want to do that please go ahead and do that i'm just going to go ahead and do it in the chair today so that it's appropriate for all levels so you can make the choice on that either one is fine um, but if you do have the feet there if you are sitting in the chair go ahead and rest the feet down flat on the floor so find a comfortable posi comfortable position there and then with your hands you can either just rest them on your lap if you want to do the palms up with the middle finger lightly touching the thumb, I find that helps to center me, but again, it's completely a personal preference as how, how you do that with your hands. Now, make sure that your back is relaxed and your shoulders are down and relaxed, all right? So this is, this is our starting position. Then you can either keep the eyes open and just look a little bit in front of you with a soft gaze, you can close the eyes if you would like to, or you can do a combination of those. I tend to do a combination of them, but it's up to you. Whichever one you like, just make sure that you're not gonna actually fall asleep. So that's the important thing. If you need to keep the eyes open, go ahead and do so. All right, so while you're in that nice relaxed position here, everything's comfortable with your hands, your feet, your shoulders, eyes open or closed. Now we're gonna start deepening the breathing. So begin by becoming aware of your breathing. And once we become aware of the breathing, we tend to naturally deepen both the inhale and the exhale. So let that happen. And as you begin to deepen the inhale and the exhale, you might feel a sense of calm, a sense of relaxing, a sense of releasing stress. Now you can let your breathing deepen even further. See if you can expand both the inhale and the exhale. Let it be comfortable. You don't have to force yourself beyond your comfortable range of motion with the breath. There's no need to hold the breath or strain at all. Just see if you can increase the length of the inhale. And if you want, you can make the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale, which helps to calm the nervous system as well. the whole time, keeping the focus of the mind on the breath. Now we're going to 
continue to breathe deeply. I would like for you to take your awareness to different parts of the body. So beginning with the hands and the feet. Again, we're just going to be aware of them. Feeling the hands on, resting on the legs and feeling the feet resting on the floor. Feeling the back lightly pressing against the chair if you're leaning back or the forearms on the legs if you're leaning forward. And just check to make sure that you're not slouching or rounding the back and the shoulders. Keeping our natural curvature of the spine, but still relaxed. And still breathing deeply. Long inhale. Slightly longer exhale. You can go back to the breath anytime that you feel like you need to recenter yourself, if the thoughts wander away like they do. You can always focus on the breathing again. Now become aware of any tension or tightness in your face, your tongue, your jaw, your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Each time you exhale, try to consciously release that tension out of your body. wanders away, just gently bring it back to the breathing. Recenter yourself. area, if it's sitting on the chair, your abdominal area, your lower back, release out any tension with the exhale. Focus on the breathing any time that you need to do so. Now I like to do a bit of a visualization. I'd like for you to think of a place that you really enjoy traveling to, or even if it's in your own backyard place that makes you feel relaxed, calm, and comfortable, refreshed. Maybe you like going to the beach or the mountains, wherever that is for you. Let yourself travel there now in your mind. Imagining the sights, the smells, the sounds, the breeze on your skin, and think about how it makes you feel calm and relaxed. 
of any tension or stress. Take a few moments to just be at that place. Check in with your body again and make sure that you're free of any tension or tightness in your muscles, your joints. Letting go of any areas that are clenched or tensed up. Release that out with the exhale. Your body be completely comfortable and relaxed. And then return to focusing on the breathing. Be aware of the inhale. Let your head drop forward a bit if you would like to. If the mind wanders away, just gently bring it back. Open the eyes and lift your chin. Lengthen your spine a bit more. And we'll do a few seated stretches here. Continue to breathe deeply. Sitting a little bit taller now. We're going to reach all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Just open out. Let's do that again. Inhale. Seated sun salutation, and exhale, good. Now this next time as we reach up, we're gonna hold up at the top, stretching the fingers toward the ceiling. Lean to one side. And lean to the other side. Good, come back to center. If it feels okay for your shoulders, go ahead and take a hold of the elbows and gently stretch the shoulders back. If not, just go ahead and release that back. Good, let's relax the arms down and just gently roll the shoulders front to back. Always front to back so that we open the chest and reverse that forward shoulder roll. Continue breathing deeply. Relax the shoulders all the way down. Now, working on the neck a bit. A lot of us will tend to have a bit of a forward head extension, so we're gonna work on that. We're going to pull the head back. So it's not just tucking the chin down, it's actually pulling the head back like a turtle pulling into its shell. So you're still facing forward, but you're gonna feel a strong stretch as you bring your head back and set it firmly over your shoulders. Shoulders are there to support your head, so there's a lot less strain on your neck if you can keep it centered. Try to do this during the day as often as you remember so that you get used to going back to that posture automatically. Good. All right, then from here, just nodding the head up and down, comfortable range of motion. And continuing to breathe deeply. side to side. So we're just going to go ear to shoulder. Again, comfortable range of motion. Shoulders are relaxed all the way down. And then the other side. Let's 
let's do each of those again. And come back to center now, going into our cat pose. Bring the hands to the knees. Let the back round now. We're purposely going to round the back and the shoulders and tuck the chin down. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, flatten out the back. Bring the elbows down to the legs. You can look forward and either neutral or slightly arch the back. And return back to your cat pose. Round the back. And flatten it out. Still breathing, nice deep breathing, round and flatten out. Let's do that one more time. Round and flatten out. Good. All right, go ahead and keep this hand on the leg. We're going to reach up with the other hand and look up at the fingers. So we're just doing our rotation. back to center and let's do the same thing on the other side big reach rotate look up toward the fingers or up at your ceiling and then come back to center all right you're gonna move just slightly forward in your chair take a hold of the back of your chair now rotate your shoulders back and just gently lift the chest so that we're opening the chest and shoulders up again Let's do some lower body stretches. So we're going to begin with our inner thigh stretch. Go ahead and step out to a wider position and then hip hinge forward. So we're not going to round or hunch forward. We're going to keep the back lengthened out. Bend forward from the waist, from the hips, and keep that back lengthened out as we come forward. If you like, you can lightly press on the inside of the legs for a deeper stretch. Let your neck be relaxed and just slowly lean in. Always head above the heart. Slowly come back up. All right, let's stretch our legs to the front. So go ahead and start with the feet down flat on the floor. We're gonna stretch the front of the ankles and the shins. Reach towards your feet, and you're gonna start feeling a hamstring stretch. Now, if you tend to pronate in, which is a rolling in of the ankles, we're just gonna roll those out slightly. So it's gonna feel like you're excessively rolling out. We're just correcting for that pronation. So a little roll out with that. And getting that hamstring stretch and then go ahead and just bring your toes up now. Now, if you can reach your toes, go ahead and bend your knees as much as you need to. If not, just stretch as far forward as you can. Make sure that you're breathing, relaxing the neck and the jaw. Great job. Go ahead and release that all the way out. You can scoot back in your chair and we are going to do our figure four stretch, which is for the piriformis, outer glute, outer thigh area. So if you can put one foot up on the other leg, the modification is to cross at the ankle. So if you've had hip surgery, hip replacement, or any other reason that your doctor has told you not to do this or if this causes you any pain please do the modification on it don't worry about how far you can get your knee down that's not as important as just feeling the stretch so once you're there again we're going to sit up tall we're not going to round forward we are going to lean forward keeping the back in that lengthened position so even if you can only come just a little bit forward that's okay if you get kind of a hitch you can release it and try it again you're going to feel that outer glute area, that piriformis area. Try to relax the neck. And go ahead and wiggle those toes and circle your ankle and circle the other way. And see if you can lean forward even more. And then come back up and we'll do the same thing on the other side so again if you're able to put the foot up go ahead and do so if not the modification crossing the ankles is completely fine sit up tall 
lean forward at center. You're going to feel a strong stretch there that's totally normal. And in fact, this is a great stretch to do daily at the end of exercise or even in the morning or before you go to bed. A lot of folks have tight, tight muscles and, jo and tight joints, so this tends to help quite a bit in terms of stiffness and sometimes in terms of it'll help with some pain if you have a lot of tightness in that area. All right, go ahead and wiggle those toes. If you got shoes on, just wiggle them in your shoe. And then circle the ankle. And I do have complete yoga and stretching videos for all the muscle groups. Circle the other way. So please check some of those out if you feel like you want a little bit more of this. I also have cardio and strength training videos with hand weights and a band and a ball. So go ahead and check out some more of those. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the videos, subscribe to my Facebook page and like those too if you wouldn't mind. It helps with the algorithm so more folks can see them and get to watch them. All right, go ahead and sit all the way up. Very nice job. Okay, so we're going to do one more back stretch here because I think stretching the back is one of the most important stretches that you can do. So we're going to do this one one more time. I'd like for you to reach all the way up, lengthen the spine. We're going to lean to the side and then lean to the other side. And then just stretch back a little bit. And now forward. We're going to go into a tabletop pose here. And slowly let yourself just come down. Resting the hands on the legs. We're just going to circle those wrists. I'm also wiggling the fingers, so you can do that as well. Go the other direction on your wrist circles. And then come all the way back up and we're going to roll those shoulders one more time. So again, we're just going to roll front to back. Make sure that you're breathing. Relax those shoulders down. And then once again, we're going to do that turtle stretch for the neck. So you're just bringing the head. It's not a chin tuck. You're bringing the head just directly back. So it's right over the shoulders. Good. Make sure you're breathing. And again, this is a really good one to do whenever you think of it throughout the day. Correct that posture. Always make sure that you have your shoulders rotated back and down so that we reverse that shoulder rounding and forward head that a lot of us get from too much time on the computer or reading. Let's finish with our final stretch. So sitting nice and tall, inhale, reach up, exhale, open out the chest. Good, let's just do that one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Excellent job, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, for doing our meditation and our stretches. Of course, you know, meditation is a wonderful thing to do every day for however long you'd like to do it. It's great for reducing stress, um, it has a lot of health benefits that they have scientifically proven now. So I highly recommend it, just developing that habit of doing it regularly. Then it'll be there for you when you have, well, I guess there's not much more of a super stressful time in life than we're in right now. So. There's no better time to start than now. If you're not doing it already, it's a fantastic thing to do and it really complements your exercise routine as well. So plenty of information online, plenty of gurus out there that have studied it for years and years. Um, there's plenty of other guided meditations that you can choose from that are really good. There's a lot of apps that you can download that are really good. So go ahead and give that a try. And then of course, all of your regular stretching 
uh, yoga, chair yoga or regular yoga, and then of course cardio and strength training. Very important to fit all of that in at some point throughout your week. Doesn't have to be all on the same day, but fit it in some point throughout your week. They're all equally important and they're great to do. So find some things that you enjoy doing. Do the best that you can during this time. I know that a lot of you are not able to go out and exercise, so hopefully these type of videos will give you something that you can do at home and make you feel good. So thanks again for hanging out with me. Please like and subscribe to my channels and I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.